What's up guys, Half Chrome. Today I've got a pair of Hubson 501s. This is the new 501M Basic Edition, and this is the tried and true 501S. We're gonna find out if this M is up to snuff with this 501S. Now, this is cheaper, right? So right off the bat, I like the price. It's under 150 bucks, that's pretty solid. Now, why? Well, uh, the remotes you'll see are different. Right, the 501S has my screen. Uh, this is 5.8 analog FPV, uh, whereas this is actually a Bluetooth remote. So I use my smartphone for my FPV feed. All right, so we'll talk about uh, what we think. So one of these is absolutely the better drone. Stay tuned, we'll tell you which one it is. Before we really dive into the video, let's take a look inside the box of the Hubson X4 Air 501M. Uh, we do, of course, have some props, uh, some prop uh, tools. Um, then you have drone. It's a good looking drone, a lot like the other 501S model uh, that we talked about. It has nice brushless motors, which I like. Um, we've got the charger, balanced charger, some cords, of course. Plug it into the wall. Then we have the remote. Now this is a Bluetooth remote, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, there is a nice spot for your smartphone, and it's gonna use AA batteries. There we go, holds your phone just like so. What else? We got a manual, which is nice. All right, so let's get this thing up in the air and fly it around a little bit. You can see that it is pretty stable. It is a GPS drone, so that is positive. Uh, one of the positives that I can tell you about this drone, uh, the co colors uh, on the lights are nice too. Um, you know, I don't know if that's really important or not. Um, but as it hovers here, we'll take a look around uh, the drone. The body style is the same as the 501S. Um, it is gray in color, so that is different. But otherwise, it looks pretty much the same. Now, the camera is different and the controls are different. So right now I'm flying it with the smartphone. It actually seems to be a little bit better than the Bluetooth remote, a little bit less lag. Now here's some FPV footage. You can see the camera is decent. I oh, just missed the tree, not bad. Pretty decent flying there. Uh, we're gonna come around and take another pass through the trees. But uh, yeah, this is what the video looks like. It is 720p. Uh, I do believe the set, uh, the 501S camera is a little bit better, a little bit crisper. Um, you know, so there is that too. It does record on board the drone via an SD card, so you don't have to worry about streaming it. Youch, that hurts a little bit. Ooh, props. Turn off. Turn off. They should be turned off, but uh, eventually they will. Yeah, so it's a decent drone. Um, you know, probably would I recommend this one? Eh, I'm going to go with the 501 as the original version, or maybe an MGX Bugs 2. Let me tell you about the 501M, right? This is something you can fly with either your smartphone or the Bluetooth remote. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, that's not what you want. Uh, the Bluetooth remote right here has a nice feel. I was optimistic, uh, but you get a little bit of lag, right? I send it left, right? And then it goes left. I send it right, wait a second, then it goes right, mate. Not, not what you want, uh, for sure. You can fly with your phone, it's slightly better, but again, you're gonna be limited to the Wi-Fi range on your phone for control. So I'm gonna have about 50 meters of control with this, uh, or I have to rely on the Bluetooth remote, which is not very good. You don't want it, right? You wanna stick with the original, the 501S, right? There are some other options. Uh, there is, of course, the MJX Bugs 2. Uh, MJX is coming out with the Bugs 3 Pro, which is also GPS, better than the Bugs 2. Um, and we've got that one, we'll tell you about that as well. So, overall, you know, it's not worth saving a few dollars to deal with the Bluetooth remote. Stick with the original. It's one of the better inexpensive GPS drones that you can buy. Hey, so thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, the video. We're going to get this thing up in the air one more time and uh, show you some more footage from the camera. A little better view today, uh, getting up high. And uh, we'll zip it around a tree one more time. Maybe we'll get by it. Maybe we won't. Hey, uh, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on halfrome.com.